Well, the head of the Catholic Church in Ireland met with government officials earlier this week regarding new restrictions that banned the public celebration of religious services. The BBC reports Archbishop Eamon Martin said the measure to ban public masses was, quote, draconian. He added it was both confusing and unnecessary. The government had defended the ban, saying all indoor gatherings have been canceled because of the pandemic. Joining us now is Archbishop Eamon Martin from the Archdiocese of Armagh and the Primate of All Ireland. Your Excellency, welcome back. Thank you so much for your time today. Uh, so wondering, how did the meeting go and are there any updates to whether public mass will resume? Well, uh, Tracy, uh, you'll be among the first to know that we've received some good news from the Taoiseach, that's the Irish Prime Minister, uh, to say that they are hoping to reopen public worship in Ireland at the very beginning of May, uh, as soon as the highest level of restrictions in the country is being lifted. This comes as a great news for us because we were deeply concerned about the direction that things were going in the Republic of Ireland. I think it's important to let you know and all of your viewers and listeners to know that uh, the Irish Bishops' Conference covers two distinct jurisdictions, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. And in Northern Ireland, thank God, uh, the churches have been open for public worship since uh, just before Palm Sunday. But in the Republic of Ireland, uh, things have remained uh, effectively closed down, except for only 10 people allowed to attend a funeral or a wedding. And it, it's deeply uh, concerning for our people uh, who are missing so much access to the sacraments. It's also practically very difficult because my diocese, the Archdiocese of Armagh, straddles the border. So half of my diocese is back at public worship and the other half is not. And there's a very peculiar situation that one of my parishes, uh, the border goes through the parish. So two churches in the parish are now open and one church is not. So as you can imagine, it, it's really difficult and uh, it's been a struggle for all of us. Oh, absolutely. How frustrating, too. Um, I understand the officials say they're worried about the spread of a new variant of coronavirus. Um, what do you know about that and what do you say to that? Well, you know, this is something that we've all been living with over the last year, more than a year now, um, one scare after another. But uh, on the positive note, I think there is a sense that the number of cases is declining. The number of hospital admissions, ICU admissions, has been declining now for some time. And also the vaccination program is proceeding. In Northern Ireland, it's quite extensive. In the South, uh, it has been a bit slower. Uh, so I think we get a sense that we're getting on top of the, the worst of the virus and also a sense that people, people have been behaving very responsibly, I have to say, and very patiently. You know, um, there's been a lot of self-denial, a lot of sacrifice involved since the beginning of this pandemic. And uh, I think that the churches, uh, the Catholic Church and indeed the other Christian churches, have been working really hard to get across the public message of uh, protection of health, protection of life, working to support the common good. But at the same time, we have been earnestly asking for a return to the sacraments because we believe that not just someone's physical well-being, but also their, their emotional, their mental, and of course, their spiritual well-being is vitally important. Yes, it is. And Your Excellency, I'm wondering, do you have maybe any words of encouragement for those who may have to watch Mass over the Internet because of restrictions? Well, one of the beautiful things has been the, the ability to invite people to make an act of spiritual communion. And uh, one of the things I've noticed is uh, people coming to Mass. I said Mass, public Mass, this morning at 8 o'clock here in Armagh because we're in Northern Ireland and we're open for public worship. But uh, one of my uh, congregation members, she said to me after Mass, she said, I wasn't able to come last week. I was a bit worried. So I followed the Mass on the webcam. So I get a sense that she's still with us. She's part of our congregation. And I would say to people who are not able to attend public worship or to attend Mass in the sacraments, please do keep linking in online. I know it's not the same. 
what you are part of our congregation. It has also, Tracy, made me very aware of parts of the world which either because of a lack of vocations or indeed because of persecution of the faith, where people are not able to have daily public mass. And I think we've all become a little bit more empathetic to those brothers and sisters of ours in parts of the world who do not have access uh, so readily to mass and the sacraments. And I wish we had so much more time to talk, but unfortunately we don't. It was wonderful speaking with you, Archbishop Eamon Martin from the Archdiocese of Armagh and the Primate of All-Ireland. Thank you so much. God bless you all.